Hi all. In this video, let us see how to download files from the web without using the classical click activity using UA path. So first let me open UA path. First thing is assume that we are going to download images uh, from any websites. For example, uh, let us assume that we are going to download from this random user.me uh, and I need to download the image of this user. Okay. So basically what we have to do usually with the existing knowledge, we have to right click here and we have to click save images. We have to give it a path here, right? So which will definitely take a lot of time. But instead what we can do, we can still use two of the activities in UA path, namely get attribute and HTTP request uh, to achieve the task efficiently without, uh, without much delay, okay? So, so, to, so do this, what we can do. First I'll go to activities and take get attribute activity so basically this will extract information from the html tags okay and to get the exact tag what we can do we can locate this image right click and inspect so for this purpose i'm using edge browser so it's your convenient to use either edge or chrome or any kind of uh, browsers okay and then once i click this uh, right click inspect I'll find these details and here I can see there is a SRC tag uh, which which has an image and if I click I'm able to see the image as well. So this is a URL for the image, right? So I need to extract this URL from the web. So how can I do that? So I would search for it. Okay, so first we need to indicate the element. So indicate on screen and choose this element, right? Yeah, if we have some issues, so then I'll hit F2. I'll close this inspect window. And now I'll click the image, right? So this is the image I want. Now I will find SRC tag here. I will select it. And this image, I am saving it in a variable called image source, okay? Now let me do a log message activity to check if the image is captured correctly. So I will do a log message, drag and drop, info, and then I will say, image source right yes so this would actually get the image for me if i debug this um, i should be able to get the url here so if i run this i should be able to see uh, the image source in the output panel so as executed yes we can see this is the url captured correctly right so the first part is done where we know the url of the image and the second part is how to download the image, right? So do, to download the image, we can use an activity called HTTP request. So you will not find it here because it is not under the uh, packages that we have usually. So we have to click manage packages, click on official and type uapath dot API web dot API, okay? So I'm going to install this package uapath.wbpa.activities which has uh, activities to uh, send any kind of request, any kind of HTTP request, okay? So with this activity only, we are going to download the image, right? So, so the library has been installed now. I'll go to project and check if it's installed correctly. So we have this WebAPA activities, right? So now I'll go to activities panel and check for HTTP request. So drag and drop this activity. And here we have the endpoint. So for testing purpose, I would give this uh, endpoint. Uh, timeout, this ensures that the image will download in less than six seconds. So if you think the connection is slow, you can still increase the timeout to maybe uh, 60 seconds, so which is around one minute. So don't change anything. Directly go to response. Click this download response checkbox and click the three dots and choose where you want to save the image. So I'll delete the existing image and choose the same path and say, I want to save it as user.jpg in this path, right? I will click okay now. So I can test this activity alone, test activity. And I would choose continue, right? Yes, we got the image, right? So if I double click, I should be able to see the image. Right, it still shows this, right? But how to pass 
uh, instead of this user, I want to pass uh, this URL obtained from image source. What I would do? I would choose CCTV request, go to properties. Instead of this request URL, I have to change it to image source, which is the dynamic URL obtained from the web, right? So that's it. So now what we have done, I will run the project after refreshing. Okay, so here I would refresh the page. So you can see that uh, now the image is different. I should be able to get the image in the in the path. So it has started running. So it has started execution and execution has been completed. And we can see date is modified. And if I open the image, we can see the new image downloaded. So now in this in this video, we have seen how to download an image from the web without using click activity. In the next video, we'll see how to download any other content like a zip file or doc files or any other download types, how to download from the web without using the click activity. We'll explore that in the next video. Thank you.